Skittles, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aone Ditiwa, Yomi if you'd like, and today I'm filming a very different, very unexpected video on my channel. And it is, as you can see by the title, a skincare routine video. The reason why I keep saying it's like um, a huge, a bit unexpected even for me is because I have always struggled with my skin. I have very acne prone skin, but like it transitioned from puberty acne when I was around 11 years old right into adult acne up to today and um basically i've just never caught a break with my skin until very recently when i just started to be conscious about my skin i started to be conscious about what i eat what i wear on my skin even in terms of makeup and i just decided that this year for me was going to be a year dedicated to my skin health and just getting my skin looking great I won't make this video too long, I'm strictly going to make this video about my skincare routine as of now but I will try and upload a video maybe two weeks from now just giving you guys like a background overview of where I really come from with my skin because yeah my skin was terrible I might just try and just leave a picture for you guys here just to give you guys a rough idea but yeah I won't get into that into that video because that's going to just need a whole lot of time and I'm just gonna have to go through all the years and all my struggle with like acne emotionally um, physically health wise all of it I'll give you guys the entire scoop as soon as I um, get the time to do that so I've been using the skincare routine or I've been following this routine since the beginning of the year literally since I got back from the US and I've been using the products I got in the US with some other stuff that I always used to use before to sort of um, get my skin to this stage which is a very stable stage in terms of how my skin could be um, under normal circumstances so um, the very first thing I do of course if I'm wearing makeup I would want to just wash off that makeup and the makeup part is really really important because I noticed that a lot of the time when I got breakouts it was because I wasn't washing off my makeup properly which is why I just opt to hop into the shower and wash off my makeup that way that's the best and most effective way for me but um, for now since I'm not wearing any makeup I just start off with wipes jeez that's a lot of light so these are the wipes I use I just picked these up from Walmart they're very easily available in China you can use any wipes you trust I can do this on my own Someone watching this shit close I've been missing Scarlet Road Might go down as G-O-D Oh, wait I go hard on Sasa G After I... Um... After I wipe off I just literally rinse my face with cold water Just pure cold water And this is so that my pores can actually open up And... It will make sense as soon as I continue my routine. But that's things. It's a lot of bad things that they wish and they wish and they wish. Okay, so the next thing I do, and obviously I don't do this. Just to make sure you guys can see me. Obviously I don't do this step like every day. I do this step once in two weeks. Yeah, once in two weeks I do this step. And basically I just... Um, Vaporize my face, heat my face, steam my face, whatever you want to call it. And I use this little tool over here. Okay, so this works as an iron and as a steamer. I know people are like, I don't know why. Can we use the iron and my face? I that love you to be love. But yeah, it, it, it's like a two in one. If you can read Mandarin, you'll be able to see that this top part is for clothes and this bottom part is for the face. So um, you can get this on any online shop you can get this anywhere actually you can get this in walmart you can get this anywhere and since my pores are not open having rinsed my face with cold water i just go ahead and steam to further like bring out any impurities that might be on the surface or immediately just under the surface of my skin okay so it has started to release steam i don't know if you can tell please be very careful with this step don't burn your face so if you want to keep it at a very far distance somewhere here is okay you just want to maneuver it around your face and always remember to keep it at a distance you don't want to burn yourself
Okay, so for the purpose of this video, that's all I'm gonna do. But if you're just like having a relaxed day, you have like a home spa day, you can go on for like even 10, 15 minutes and just, it's actually very comfortable. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. I have to say that over and over again. Okay, now I'm going to rinse off my face with just normal temperature water and I'll be back with the next step. So now I go into my cleansing and I'm using this, jeez. I'm using this aloe vera cleanser by Nature Republic. This is available in Walmart, it's a Korean brand. I just discovered it um, one time while I was in Walmart and I thought it's great because it has aloe vera. And at that time I used to use aloe vera gel to moisturize, which I don't use anymore and I'll get, I'll explain why just now. So I used to use this aloe vera gel and I thought it would be good to use two or like the same two products with the same components in them. But then, now I just use the, the face wash. Um, I'll leave the name and the details in the description box below. I'll actually leave all the products I use in the description box below. So, I used to do exfoliation with the brush and those cute little face massages, but I since stopped because they didn't really help me the way they were supposed to help me. My skin used to still break out. And I guess I never used to care for them very well. So they used to harbor like gems or I don't know. They just never used to serve me. So I don't use them, I don't use them anymore. I just really use my hands. So um, I squeeze a decent amount onto my palm like so. And then of course I apply a little bit of water so that it leathers and then I just massage it onto my skin and downwards into my neck as well I've been missing Scarlet Road might go down as G.O.D. oh wait I go hard on Sasaji I make sure that no Sari and still It's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 on me. Also, um, about the like scrubby scrubby thingies, like the the exfoliating brushes and stuff like that. Please make sure you're not uh, literally scraping your skin. And I know people are maybe thinking, well, who would scrape their skin? It's actually psychological. Like people who have. Um, scarred skin, people who have trouble skin, like acne prone skin, cystic acne, tend to feel like if they use very rough products or rough mechanisms or if they endure a lot of pain then that means that you know they are succeeding at eradicating the acne and this is a real thing, this is a real psychological thing that people with acne prone skin, skin go through. I can tell you this because I have been in that um, phase myself. So that's why I'm saying I probably need to make like a whole different video where I'm just speaking in depth about my skincare journey, my skin journey in general, everything I went through psychologically, emotionally, physically, all of it. I just feel like that's some that's definitely a video a video I need to make separately for you guys. Anyway, now I'm going to rinse off using warm water and this time it's going to do the opposite of what the cold water did. It's going to tighten my pores. So let's rinse off. Oh my battery's low. Okay so usually at this stage I would switch to a mask of my choice. My battery's dying. Wow. So I guess I'll wear a mask then. I wasn't gonna wear a mask because I wanted to wrap up this video quick, but since my battery is dying, I will do my mask and then charge my battery and I'll be back to show you guys the rest of my routine. So I, I just collect masks for fun, so I have like a whole range of them. This is a medical one. Um, as I said, I swear by Korean products. So this is a Korean one I got from a store called Miniso here in China by Mediheal. And then this is one I picked up in a home decor store in the in the states and i've never used it so i might use this one today actually um it's a four step four step one so step one is to cleanse and wash which i already did so i don't think i'll do this one 
but it's charcoal so i think i'll save this for like a girl's night in or something i think i'm going to go for this one so i'm gonna use this one right now i don't want to die for them to miss me guess i see the things that they wishing on me hope i got So I'm gonna go charge my battery and I'm gonna go leave this mask on for 10 minutes unless indicated otherwise. Yeah, 10 to 20 minutes. So I'll do 10 minutes and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, and I'm back. I am gently going to remove my mask. It's been 20 minutes. I just love masks. My skin feels super hydrated. I'm sure you can you can tell as well. Mm. Okay, so I don't rinse off my masks. I just massage whatever was on the mask into my skin like that. And then I'll probably use my clean towel to just of the excess with towels you have to be very careful um, I avoid using towels at all because when I do my, my face uh, I use a smaller towel that I bought specifically for my skin my face for my facial skin and I wash it every time I use it but I put it in the laundry today so that's why I have to just use my pa uh, my towel now for my favorite part of my entire skincare routine. This is the star of my skincare routine since I started using this routine. Drum roll! It is this bad boy over here. Guys, 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 guys. The, the worst thing about my skin, okay, the worst thing about my skin used to be texture. I used to have a lot of te texture, which is completely gone now. Uh, what I mean by texture is like I used to have... A little layer over my skin that just wasn't smooth so it looked like it looked rough ish and it had like these tiny little white heads so it wasn't really like pimples it was just these tiny little white heads all over my skin over the surface of my skin but as you can see all that is like completely gone now and I have like a smooth canvas and even when I wear my makeup my makeup actually looks smooth because my skin underneath doesn't have um, the texture anymore so that's because of this bad boy here and the other thing this bad boy has been helping me with is the second worst thing about my skin which is my acne scars my acne scars unfortunately are yeah they're really 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 intense but it's I really feel like this has been helping them look a little bit less um, intense like it's been minimizing the appearance of them and I've basically just been using this and it's I just really love it I don't know if it's all in my head but I really 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 love this product so it came with um, oh by the way it there's a mask for it so I use this like once in two weeks as well it's a peel off mask jeez there's so much light so I use this one once in two weeks it's this exact same brand as this one and yeah once in two weeks I'll use that I'll use the peel off mask so this came with a little, um, uh, geez, I forgot my chemistry. What do you call this? A dropper? Uh, a mini, yeah, I forgot what this is called in like professional terms, but you know what this is. It basically just helps me like drop, dispense the, the, the oil in drops. So I just open and I take like, oh, sorry, I didn't open it. <laughs> mm. I take this much, this much is usually more than enough. Yeah, I take that much and I drop it into my palm. I would say this is like about four droplets. And then I just use my three fingers and I pat, 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 massage into my skin. 
pet, 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 massage into my skin. Pet, 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 massage. Pet, 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 massage. And then start on my neck. I just literally massage it all over my face. It smells like roses. I won't lie, I wasn't very fond of the smell at first. It smells like roses, but not in a good way. But then you get used to it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But yeah, I just massage, massage, massage the oil into my skin. Down onto my neck. As I told you guys, my neck is also acne prone. As you can see, I do actually have a break on right over here. So absolutely absolutely love this oil <laughs> now this is something i picked up um in one of those duty free stores at the airport i don't know if it shows it's a kiehl's product can you just focus for once yeah it's a kiehl's product and it's for reducing blemishes um, the best time to use this is just when your acne starts forming. So if I ever have any breakouts, which I don't really have at the moment except that one. So I just take this and just put a little bit there and I massage into my skin. So this is a, this is medical, so this contains um, salicylic acid and as you know salicylic acid is very good for acne so I just put this anywhere where I might have like a new pimple or a pimple that is attempting to form and guys that's pretty much it that's all I do on my face um, besides the the steaming this is what I, besides the steaming and the mask this is what I do every morning and every night without fail if I do wear makeup, I just make sure I intensely wash off my makeup. I just jump in the shower and wash it off old school because that's what works for me. Um, but yeah, as I said, I will find some time to actually sit down and speak to you guys about my skin before and my skin now and what I've been doing to get to where I am now. And it's been such a process, guys. It's not just what I'm showing you now. It's it's been like what I eat, the makeup I use. Before, I never really used to be so conscious about those things. I used to wear any makeup I find. I used to eat anything I want to eat. But now, I'm very strict on my diet, uh, specifically for my skin. So, dairy products, I lay off, I laid off them a little bit. I completely cut out caffeine, which was the hardest thing ever. But yeah, I'm a tea girl now. So, if you have any tea recommendations, hit me <laughs> but anyway yeah um i'll get into those details very very soon um thank you so much for watching thank you for being part of this family if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe leave a comment i'd like to hear from you guys and see you in my next upload